We're one win away from a second consecutive Premier League title and that'll either come against Chelsea away or at Sunderland at home on the final day of the season. So without further ado, let's get into it. Hey guys, welcome back to some more Football Manager 2017 and part 12 of season 2 of Life After Wenger. And as I said um, before in the intro, we have two Premier League games today, I think. One against Chelsea away from home and then at home to Sunderland. But we also have an FA Cup final to look forward to. And you might notice the game looks a little bit different. Um, I've downloaded a new uh, Logos pack. Which means I finally got the new Everton logo, which is about time. I did the Everton project on FM16 and had the old logo. Yeah. Uh, Man City, I mean, the small logo is still the same, but um, still the old one. But the new one is on these screens here. Uh, the only reason I haven't got the, the small one is because it was sort of off shot to the side and it was very distracting. So I changed it back to that one because of the techie wizard that I am. Uh, um, but there's, uh, and I mean Swansea have got their proper badge back because I think I had the 125th anniversary badge. So yeah, I think the the old um, logo pack was about five year old. So it's about time I got a new one. So it's quite quite fresh. And the Barclays Premier League's got its new logo. Um, the FA Cup doesn't have a logo. I don't I don't know how I can change that. Um, but I'm sure we'll find out. In a future episode, anyway, um, that's possibly for the new series, which might already be on the channel. Probably is already on the new on the channel um, because I'm recording this so far in advance. But uh, yeah, here we go then. Uh, since the last episode, we played Leicester and Man City. We drew against Stoke, which is why uh, this title race is still. Uh, going on, but we beat them in the semi-final 2-0 uh, Matthias Delight and Jack Wilshire on the score sheet, my phone keeps falling off so I'm going to put it there, there we go um, and then we beat Hull in the Premier League 2-0 Kingsley Coleman and Mesut Ertel scoring there, so the Premier League is looking like this, we are 82 points uh, after 36 games, so we have a game in hand over Tottenham, if we win today we win the title, no matter what happens. If we draw today, Tottenham can still win. So I'd preferably like to win and then show you the FA Cup final in this episode as well. But, um, yeah. Let's have a look at squad performances then. Top goal scorer going into the, the final couple of games is Romelu Lukaku. Um, still 25 from 46. And then Ross Barkley and Kingsley Coleman, uh, 13 and 12 respectively. Um... Turan and Walcott have had good seasons as well. Top assists is Paye with uh, 13, and then 11 for Turan and 10 for Iwobi, Lukaku and Ibra. So let's have a look at the team for today. I've rambled on for quite a long time now. We've got Petacek in goal. We've got Mustafi because Bellerin's out for the, the rest of the season. Uh, we've got Koscielny and Van Dijk in the middle with Shaw on the left. Wilshire and Kazola will start in the middle of the park with Coleman, Ozil and Sanchez starting behind Romelu Lukaku. That's right, Ozil has had a reprieve in recent weeks. Uh, he's done okay in the last couple of games, so I thought I'll start him. Uh, but Juventus are interested in him, managed again by Antonio Conte. Um, and I've said that I'm open to discussions about that. So he might be going on in the summer. Let's hopefully get a victory today and seal it, but... We're away to Chelsea, who are a mid-table side now, but still a good side, and they could definitely do Tottenham a favour today uh, by beating us. <clears throat> but uh, we've been in good form in the Premier League. I can't remember the last time we got beaten it. Um, I don't think it was that recent. And there's 1-0. Koscielny has put us 1-0 up, and that, as it stands, means we have won the title, the Premier League title, for the second consecutive year, which is a brilliant achievement. Um, I can't remember who it was with a free kick. Um, we'll just have to wait and see. Um, Mesut Ertzel, there you go. So he's had a reprieve in the team, and he's set up that first goal there for Laurent Koscielny 
to nut it into the back of the net and it is 1-0 um, what have Chelsea got to respond to that uh, I mean we said we're not we're not happy I, I should have probably went with um, don't get complacent but hopefully we'll get a, a decent performance out of them in the second half here's Mustafi now Coleman all the way back to Czech who's back to Coleman what a 1-2 that was Mustafi uh, Pedro good save good save by Petr Czech Shell me away. Now then, 55. Well, we'll just watch this highlight. Because all in the middle. And Koscielny scored again. It's 2-0. And surely that's the title in the bag now. Kozola, what a free kick that is. And Koscielny has been in the right place at the right time to make a captain's contribution. And make it 2-0. What a brilliant performance. We're going to bring Delight on now. Because uh, Virgil van Dijk is quite tired. We're also going to bring on uh, Theo Walcott and just leave it like that for now. But what a performance from Laurent Koscielny. He's led from the front. Uh, two brilliant free kicks. One from Cazola uh, and one from Mesut Ozil. Uh, and we're 2-0 up at Stamford Bridge, which is terrific. Koscielny back to check. Here's Wilshire. Now Chizzy. Uh, Koscielny again. Check away. Willian and oh good save by Petr Cech there. It just looked a little bit fragile defensively. Uh, maybe shouldn't have made that defensive change. Um, but yeah, Chelsea have had the better of the game according to the stats. But we haven't really seen too many chances by them. Um, we're going to bring Lukaku off and put on uh, a Wobi and then oops, um, undo. We'll put a Wobi on there. And swap Sanchez and him over and play him as a complete forward. Yeah, Lukaku's had a disappointing second half of the season, which means we're going to have to go and buy a striker in the summer that's capable of, of deputising. Um, brilliant tackle by Delight, and Sanchez puts it in the back of the net. He's heard that, I want to buy a new striker. He says, I can lead the line. What a brilliant pass by Delight, and it's 3 0 at Stamford Bridge, and we have won. Two consecutive Premier League titles. That is incredible. Petr Cech is going to break the Premier League clean sheets record as well, which is amazing. And there we go. That is 3-0. We've got to be pleased with that. And uh, and going into the FA Cup final now, I don't think I'm going to show the, the dead rubber. There's not much point in doing it. Um, so we'll do the FA Cup final in this episode, which will be brilliant. And... Uh, and yeah, so that is the season so far. We haven't conceded a goal in the Premier League since April, uh, the start of April, against Leicester. So things looking good. Things looking good for us. And we've got Sunderland in the final game. Uh, and I'll update you about that when we come back for the FA Cup final in just a second. Well, we won the final game of the season, 4-0 against Sunderland, meaning that we won the Premier League by seven points in the end because Tottenham got beat um, by Man United 6-2. So, yeah, um, we finished top seven points clear. That's an improvement on last year uh, of two points for us. And, um, you know, we're, we're seven points clear this year instead of two last year. So read into that what you will. Brighton go down this year along with Bournemouth and Swansea. Uh, I don't know who's come up. Um, it's either going to be Huddersfield or Derby as well as Middlesbrough and Reading. So <laughs> that's an interesting one. A um, few of the award winners to tell you about. Uh, player of the Year, Harry Kane. Young Player of the Year, Harry Kane. Top goal scorer, Jamie Vardy. Um, which was a bit of an interesting one. Um where are the, there we go we were named manager of the year uh, Czech won the golden glove with 25 clean sheets from 38 appearances and that's got to be a record surely um i don't know though so you guys will have to let us know um we won uh manager of the year and that's the the team of the year if you're interested in that uh so yeah, we won 4-0 against Sunderland. Ibrahimovic getting a hat-trick there, which has changed our team plans for today. And Aaron Ramsey scoring as well. Meaning that we're going to go with an unchanged lineup from the Sunderland game. I rotated a little bit, but um, yeah, Ibra comes into play. Ramsey and Barkley are going to be in the midfield. Um, 
and yeah, I, I, that's the the team we're going to go for for this FA Cup final against Everton. Um, I think Ibrahimovic scored three goals more than Lukaku has for a while, so he gets a start. And if not, we've got Lukaku and Walcott on the bench, so there's plenty of goals on the bench if we need them. But uh, FA Cup, this will be our first FA Cup victory if we can do it. And oh, Virgil van Dijk should have put us 1 0 up. Uh, obviously, last year we went out in the third round, which was very, very disappointing indeed. Um, we've already been in the final of the AFL Cup this year, losing that to West Ham. Uh, so hopefully we can make up for that today by winning the FA Cup against Everton. But uh, first half has been quiet, although this is a corner and Ramsey puts it in the back of the net. Zlatan Ibrahimovic with the assist there. And Aaron Ramsey makes it 1-0. Um, yeah, it was Ozil into the middle and then, I don't know, Coleman, I guess, to Ibra. To Ramsey, smashes it into the back of the net. That's a carbon copy of one of the goals against Sunderland. And 1-0 at half time. Uh, we can be very, very happy with that. And hopefully we can get our hands on a fourth trophy this season and go with our Community Shield and um, Club World Cup as well as the Premier League. But we've also been in the UEFA Super Cup Final and the... Um, oh, it's 1-1. <laughs> and the EFL Cup final. So we could have cleaned up this season, um, except for the Champions League where we were quite disappointing. But Rydeveld has scored there for Everton. And Ross Barkley has been disappointing today. So we're going to bring on Santi Cazorla um, because he's got that free kick in him. And Kingsley Coleman is going to come off for Dimitri Payet. And we can swap them two round and play Sanchez as a, a round doider. Why not? Why not? And we'll do that. Um, yeah, I just kind of want to keep a substitute for extra time if it goes that far. Um, yeah, West Ham absolutely thumped us in the AFL Cup final. So we've acquitted ourselves a bit better this time, but as Premier League champions, we should be going out there and trying to win this. Here's Virgil van Dijk now, Ramsey, Shaw, into the middle. Oh, oh yes, it's in. Dimitri Payet has put it into the back of the net, and we're 2-1 up with three minutes to go. It was just a bit of a mess in that pen penalty area. I think um, Ozil might get... No, he doesn't get the assist. But uh, the initial cross from Luke Shaw, he has Van Dijk, that could have sealed it. Everton on the counter, but Mustafi's got it, and we've won. We have won the FA Cup. That is our ninth trophy, ninth? Seventh trophy win of our career with Arsenal. That is fantastic. What a match it was as well. Uh, it went right down to the wire. Our former player, Lucas, is the top scorer in the competition. Um... Maybe we shouldn't have uh, sold him. And maybe he would have been the deputy for Romelu Lukaku this year. But um, we've won the FA Cup. That's fantastic. Um, I don't know how many times we've won it now. I assume it's 14 or something like that. Um, but yeah, we're, we're, we're looking good. Uh, anything else said? Doesn't look like it. FA Cup review, there you go. Um, let's have a look at Arsenal's history. And then we'll have a quick look at their Legends page. And we'll have a little look at the Hall of Fame as well. So there we go. We've won one Champions League. That was last year, of course. Um, we've won the FIFA World Club, World Club Cup this year. Uh, we've won the Premier League this year and last year. Uh, and the FA Cup 13 times now. We've won it this year. There. Um, the Europa League, uh, I wasn't here for. I don't know when they won it. Did they win out under Arsene Wenger? No, it must have been a long time ago. Yeah, 1969. I didn't think they, they'd won it under Arsene. Um, we've won the EFL Cup. We won that last year. Got knocked out in the final this year. We've won the FA Community Shield 15 times now. Um, we won it this year. And we've won it three of the last four years, as well as the FA Cup, I think. as Well, th three of the last five years. And we won the Checker Trade Trophy this year as well, which is brilliant, brilliant news. 
Squad performances then, the season overall, Romelu Lukaku finishes as top goal scorer, Ibra has caught up to Barkley, Coleman's up there, Turan and Walcott are in there as well, top assists is Dimitri Payet with 13, and then 11 each for Turan and Ibra, 10 each for uh, Iwobi, Lukaku and Kazola. Top average rating over the season then is going to be... I'm going to say Virgil van Dijk with a 7.57 because these two have been playing in the Checker Trade Trophy nonsense. Um, and 7.53 for Mustafi who could be going in the summer. Remember he wants to go to um, Barcelona I said he could. So if they come in then um, I'll have to sell him unfortunately. But there we go then. Uh, Romelu Lukaku. No sorry it wasn't. I thought it was, it was but it wasn't. Um, anyway, who is the highest value player? It is Alexis Sanchez, 38 million, Coleman then 37 and a half, um, but pff, it goes down to Aaron Ramsey before you find a player that's not worth over 30 million, which is quite crazy. So this is the season overall then. What a brilliant season. The only disappointment I would say is the Champions League, but we were done on away goals in that one, so that could have went either way. Um, and we can be really, really proud of how we've acquitted ourselves in the two seasons in Life After Wenger. Let us know if you want to see a season three. I want to go ahead and do a season three, but if, if you guys think it'll be boring or whatever, then let us know. But I think another season, I did say I would check um, the Legends screen. We are still only favoured personnel. It's going to be a long road to become a legend here, I think. Um, we're just going to have to see how that goes. We'll do a quick check of the Hall of Fame as well. Um, where are we on this? Well, we're, we're nearly into the top 20. Another successful season like this, and, and we could well get pretty close. Nationality, we are third on the, on the English um, managers list. Uh, 1,300 points behind Bob Paisley. So could be a bit of a Hall of Fame challenge to try and get to the top of that. Um, we're not quite uh, in the top 10 of the nation. Uh, the continent, I assume, would just... Well, we're not just outside the top 20. We need to keep going with that. But anyway, that's enough of that nonsense. If you've enjoyed this episode, make sure you leave a like down below. If you want to see Season 3, make sure you let us know down in the comments. I'm all up for a Season 3 but we'll just have to see. So, yeah, hopefully you guys are having a wonderful day. Thanks for watching this season. Thanks for watching this episode, and goodbye.